Hello everybody, welcome to Season 48 of Chalice, first round match between Arzawain and his Nurgle and Caution and his Woodies, um, Wood Elves. So yeah, it's an incredible team actually from Arzawain, 13 players, a guard on the bench, which uh, seems pretty crazy to me. Uh, Claw Mighty, add jump, Claw Mighty, block guard, stand firm, classic, classic warriors, block guard. Uh, only three warriors, I guess. And Pomo, Tackle, Beast. Oh no, there's the other warrior. R rookie? No, no, so he's a guard. So he's got... They've all got block and guard. One's got Mighty Blow and two of them have got Claw and Stand Firm as well. Beast's got guard, Stand Firm. It's a pretty nice team. Uh, the Woodies, on the other hand, have got an Adjub Dancer. A... Disgusting juggernaut dancer. A pretty ridiculous catcher. Large six. And, uh, it's not the tree in front of him. It looks like the tree in front of him has move up, double edge up and leap, but it's it's the catcher behind it. And uh, caution doesn't have a wizard, which would be a really good inducement with a large six, I guess. Pretty close in team value and a couple of guard as well. Strength though, it's a pretty nice team caution. Not the best team in the cup though. Not the best Wood Elf team in the cup, if you ask me. The best the best Wood Elf in team in the cup for me was Misspell Trees. But it's a certainly a decent team, isn't it? Du corps à corps, chance avant de play. L'attaquant bénéficie de soutien. Nous allons assister à un grand moment en exclusivité sur Cabal Vision HD. Et vous pouvez arrêter, il est parti. It is actually pretty good doing this uh, doing this match when I can't when I'm totally incapable. <laughs> oh. Lovely square for the beast. Plugged in the beast. Oh, instantly. Instantly putting more men on the beast. Love to see it. Classic play from Caution. Oh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut getting the push. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, why not? Because it's not a move. Or, see, now you can tell it's just a boring, lame beast tree man. Well, block, ju ju block, jump up and guard. But it'd have been really cool if it was move up and double edge and leap. That'd be the best tree ever, wouldn't it? <laughs> Man, Coronation Street is on now, and it's the same people are in when I used to like when I, well, I say I used to watch it. The like then I've seen in it, you know, when I used to, I didn't, I was never a dedicated follower of Coronation Street, but it's the same people in from when I was younger, except they're old as fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. It's crazy. Uh, probably, yeah. But it's more the ones that they were young, you know, like they were young when I when I was when I was young, I guess, and now they're old when I'm young. Because like people like Gail Platt and that have been old for ages, haven't they? It's just crazy watching the ones that were like kind of young when I was kind of young, and now they're kind of old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is it just not really anything here from Caution? Is it getting in the way a bit? I guess he's shepherding a little bit. Stopping the cut back. The only theme song I can hear is Fools and Horses. Oh, yeah, I know what, I know what Coronation Street is. <laughs> the commentary is great, isn't it? <laughs> the tree's, tree's coming in hot now, isn't he? He hasn't got break tackle, sadly. But he can just blitz and be like, Oh no, he's got stand for. Oh! Well, he could have just gone one, two, three. He's not blitzing with a tree. Oh, shut up. Shut up. As if he's not blitzing with a tree. Sad. In fact, he's pushing him away. Why is he scared? Don't like that. Do I not like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what a nonce. Well, Red Nant. Not to be Artemis like. I guess he's just thinking, you know, if he wants to go down the side, he can, and he wants to keep him more central and further forward to uh, stop the, the side switch, right? A treeless blitz! A blockless dodge! Man, when am I going to make that a sound effect? Someday. Or <laughs> I do, yeah. All circumstances. <laughs> My jumper is blue. I don't know why I said purple. <laughs> that was really, that was really good that night. Watching the boxing with Dimmy and then just rambling, just listening to his rambles for a, for a few hours. Dimmy the champ. What a legend. <laughs> oh, I actually think it was better where it was. I think I like not activating it that turn. Because he was like higher up, wasn't he? And then stopping the switch back. Whereas now he's kind of inviting the switch back by moving him down. I actually like leaving him there. And also, obviously, you can't root if you don't activate it.
<laughs> a blockless dodge. There you go. A blockless dodge. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I thought of it as well. There you go. A rarity. A rarity in this stream. Yeah, I guess it's alright. He hasn't really gone over the other side. I guess he maybe didn't have the time to. So maybe, maybe Caution did the right play by dropping him back a couple of squares. I like just keeping him up here though, I like. Oh, he's gone in, he's gone in, he's done a leap! He's done an uphill! He stripped him! No, <laughs> four disturbing presents. Five disturbing, every single disturbing present. The tree. Oh, it hasn't got grab. And has double scold, but has powered, but he's got stand firm. So no scatter. We had six. Just dodges in, doesn't give a shit. Picks up, doesn't give a shit. Oh no, he failed the pick up. And then he got the catch. Amazing. Now he gets to surf this guy, doesn't he? Potentially. Blitz him. And then fill these in and then just block him twice. I guess he didn't have anyone to fill in the last one. Never mind, just pun him. How do you score though? He's not going to get much penetration here. Maybe enough, I guess. He does have an edge for bludger. Oh, and chain the beast. Oh no, it was the beast hitting. Oh, he's got sidestep, so he couldn't chain the beast. I like that. I, I, I do like moving him first, even though it's like, in a way worse. Like, he's not doing a lot there. But then it lets you make the dodge off with him and get the removal. Really nice. That's the scoring threat. So many times with shitty bash teams do I have to do the like the stupid handoff to somebody over here. Going in again. Kazes himself. <laughs> Instant apple. Well, now I guess he is scoring. Surf. Surf the sidestepper with the beast. Do you try that? Oh my god. What? What are you doing? He could have blocked him and then pushed him and surfed this guy, couldn't he? Pretty low risk, you've got to reroll. 
payoff is uh, so big. Risk is so small. The payoff is so big. I mean, nobody knows, obviously. Nobody... We don't have Blood Bowl stockfish to tell us whether it's worth it or not. But, um... I think it probably is. Depends depends on your assessment of the match equity, doesn't it? So, for example, if you were like a if you're like a rubbish coach, then it's better to do them right because the the value you you need the value of getting the removals to win the game more than somebody who doesn't and stuff. Or like you know if your team's rubbish and stuff. Like if you have a team of hobgoblins against a team of war dancers, then punching them absolutely seems worth it, doesn't it? Because you can struggle to win if you don't cast anyone. There was a one turn there, wasn't there? Great camera work. Thank you, Blood Bowl 2. I didn't even know it was the Natty. Was he off the pitch for the first half? I guess he was. Oh, well, actually, the team's pretty good then, isn't it? That makes the team a lot better with a Natty. <laughs> Funnily enough. So now Caution can just get the 2 1 grind, can't he? Uh, thanks to the idiotic Natty. Give the bolt your edge 5. Good. Especially good because he knows he can't possibly handle. Riot. Wonderful. Yeah, he's got a natty sandwich. He didn't field him, so I didn't even know he had him on the field, but yeah. Move 10, sprint. About as, you know, about as technical and interesting as Blood Bowl gets. Click Elf, click Enzo. Exclamation point, Maddie. Oh. And then the instant Kaz of the tackle. The mighty blow tackler instantly cast by the uh, mighty blow plus two blitz. Of course, War Dancer's already with hidden mighty blow, so. And that's a good point. Oh. Well, we have not seen a Daka. Sad times, caution. <laughs> well, Mango, you might not know this. A lot of people don't. Um, but 
Wood Elf catches start with sprint. In Blood Bowl 2. Of course, in Blood Bowl 3, he would have to take sprint because they've lost it, haven't they? Which is actually a pretty big nerf. Maybe I should, Steve, yeah. All we see is Jimmy doing the decker. Playing no blood ball. Vanity passing. <laughs> that was so good, the PC song. Kind of good that he doesn't get to hit into the tree. I was thinking he was going to block with a lino and push him into the tree, but uh, he's not doing that. I think you quite enjoy this. As, uh... There's ours away, and you can just have here. Uh, yeah, you've got more tackles. You could send one tackle. Yeah. I not send him out, but keep him able to react if anything happens. And then focus on playing properly. Like basically, you just need to make sure this guy can't really stall super long. Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. God, there's an advert for a non-stick frying pan. And it's just making me think about eggs. I had some lovely, I had some lovely scrambled eggs today. Cooked to perfection. Very, very good at, at scrambling eggs, I am. I don't think he should have put two players on that guy. So I think that's a good trade for Novi. Not Novi, he's not, I don't know why I said Novi, Caution. Good trade for Caution there. For a little bit. In trouble, isn't it? Well, the knight is getting hit on three dice, isn't he? Oh. I'm a little bamboozled. Oh, there's a screen. I didn't even see he was screened. Oh, my God. Realise this guy has jugs, but he couldn't surf him. Didn't want to give him assists. Nice foul. And now these two can get back into the game, but I, and that could have been really costly taking those two out of the game for a couple of turns. Time though, and then make the dodge once you've popped dodge. Make the leap once you've popped dodge. Very good. Ah. 
<laughs> this is looking very strong for caution. I don't really like that he's leaving this uh, move up exposed, however. The natty. Not getting targeted by Azawain. Allegations of match fixing are rife. Carry on! <laughs> Now you ain't stopping him now, you might as well just try and bang this guy. I think. <laughs> God, that sound effect's so good, isn't it? There's been a lot of good ones recently. Spotted the weak diagonal if he gets the power, which he does. And a remover. Full instant comedy mega remover. Okay, now I'm now I'm super now I'm like falling asleep tired. Right on time for JFW. Oh, doesn't even dodge in. I guess it was a bit shit, wasn't it? Because it was a 5 plus a 1D. That's a 6 plus for a 2D. Hello, Necropotans. Uh, pretty tired. Pretty flipping tired. That's how it's going, thanks. Got the uh, got the beast on the uh, gadge. Gonna leap one day. It's the skull. Get something, not a skull. He just goes in because he doesn't want to get stuck on the beast again. <laughs> Obviously, Nurgle aren't going to be able to score in two turns. You would think. Yeah, he, couldn't, he got a bit boxed in by the beast, couldn't, couldn't get away from him. Well, we could still see over time the legendary Nurgle two turn after getting outbashed by Wood Elves. <laughs> Literally outbashed by Wood Elves. That's pretty ridiculous.
Oh, a riot. Well, <laughs> that might be a win for caution there. Don't think the Nurgle will be one turning here. Why is nothing dead? Yeah, two riots. Literally, is the the Nurgle have been outbashed by the Wood Elves. Yeah, lots of riots. Less blood ball for both of them, making them both winners. It's Kaz the Nighty. Badly hurt. Oh, oh man. Oh man, just a nice little heart attack for caution at the end. I might have been nervous in Chalice if that had happened. <laughs> Holy moly. No Kaz and then two on the last turn, amazing. Well, we've been one Kaz, haven't we? One Kaz and one kill and then two, kit, two Kaz on the last turn. Doing there. It's just ending the match. Well, there you go. No commiserations at all to Azawain, but congratulations, caution. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.